this is is a how versus sheriff's department matter council previously made their uh, appearances and the court has uh, granted two preliminary requests the case is here today for a hearing on the defendant's motion for a protective order and on an order to show cause raise sanctions against mr Greer uh, for disobedience of the local rule uh, regarding taking matters off calendar let's dispense with that issue first Mr. Greer, um, we have a local rule on this subject. Uh, it's cited in the, in the OSC, and uh, it, it, is, it happens to be the case that the local rule was um, promulgated when I was the supervising judge of the civil division. In fact, I wrote the rule. So let me hear from you on that. Your Honor, I understand that completely. I think it makes sense. I think it's a good rule. Um, and I understand that I may not have taken that matter off calendar. One of my colleagues may not have gotten a hearing that they may need. I do understand that I feel badly about that. I intended to take it off calendar. Actually, initially, I, I thought it would be done automatically because the opposing Mr. Diak and I worked out our differences with regard to the county amending their answer. And, and I am glad you did. He amended the answer, and that eliminated the need for the demur, but no one told us. And that's, well, and, and I thought it would come up automatically, but it didn't, and actually Mr. Diak notified me. He was looking at the course account and said, Keith, it's still on there. When you take that off, I told Mr. Diak, I'm going to make that call, and I will take that off calendar. Um, I didn't write it down on my priority list because it was above my priority list. I was going to do it at that time, make the call. Got distracted and crazy. Well, it made it the day. It didn't get done that day. It fell from my memory. And the next thing I found out was I was getting an OSC. And so I understood the rule. I knew the need for the rule. And I intended to do it. It just, I got to learn to put everything on the list, even if it's something I think I'm going to do next. And I deeply apologize to the court and I well, do whatever. Yeah, that's what I was waiting to hear. Uh, that carries a lot of weight with me, and the OSC is discharged <coughs> and no sanctions are ordered. Thank, thank okay. you very much, Honor. A little bit of levity. I was waiting for the court to ask me how much my sanction should be, and it just threw me back to when my dad used to send us boys out to the poplar tree to pick our own switches. <laughs> I, did have, I did have my check in my pocket. I've been thinking about it quite a bit. So, the court's curious what I would have find myself on there. No. no. Thank yeah, you, Honor. I don't, Honor, Honor, I, don't think it's, this. I don't think it's an appropriate exercise of my discretion to just hand out sanctions yeah. if there's not a good reason. And if someone comes in and falls on their sword and apologizes to the court and they haven't done it before, now, it'd be a different situation if this was the second OSC in this case. I probably would sanction it at 100 bucks. But, you know, when someone comes in and says, it was my fault and I'm sorry, you know, that's, that's enough for me. And I do mean you are, thank you. Okay. 